Gigapress development is becoming so important for Tesla that Tesla now is partnering with a little known casting company for Gigapress development. Tesla is partnering with Exco Technologies Limited, a Canadian company that specializes in designing and developing dyes, molds, assemblies, and casting for automotive companies. The company's CEO confirmed on an earnings call earlier today, reports Joey Klender from Tesla Radio. Joey says Tesla has long had a focus on manufacturing efficiencies and arguably is the most efficient and the most popular was the introduction of the Gigapress. The Gigapress is a massive casting machine developed by Italian company Idra, which helps Tesla cast the chassis and bodies of its all-electric vehicles in a swift, efficient, and non-time-consuming manner. Tesla has worked with Idra to develop massive Gigapress machines that will be used at Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. There are already Gigapress machines working at Tesla's Fremont factory in Northern California, France. Now it appears that Tesla's partnership for casting and molding technologies is going far beyond Idra. Earlier today, Exco Technologies held its quarter three 2021 earnings call, where it detailed how Tesla is revolutionizing the manner of automotive manufacturing throughout the earlier sector, and actually throughout the entire sector. CEO of um, Exco Technologies, Darren Kirk, said, uh, and this is via Seeking Alpha, said the following. I'm going to read that. One key trend that will continue to benefit Exco is the increasing size in complexity of die casting aluminum components. Tesla has really pushed the envelope on this front using massive Giga presses, which are much larger die cast machines than those used previously. This enabled Tesla to cast entire subframes of the vehicle in one shot with Giga castings, rather than assemble numerous stamped metal components in the body shop, creating significant space and manufacturing efficiency gains. The tooling required to facilitate this process is very large and extremely complex, limiting the number of players able to complete effectively. Our, uh, our cast tool division is already the primary supplier of all shots and and tooling for Tesla's Gigapress globally. This provides a clear indication of the depth we have in the design and know-how required to meet the challenges of the industry. We expect traditional OEMs will follow Tesla's lead in using these large die-cast machines as they transition to an electric vehicle future. That's what he said. Kirk said that it's cast tool division, which is casting and stamping entity owned by Exco is already supplying Tesla's Gigapress with shot and tooling parts. Kirk stated that he expects Exco's relationship with Tesla to continue to thrive, especially as Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin are concerned. Kirk also indicated that Exco is involved with Tesla through all of its divisions, but he would detail explicit evidence that would show how Tesla is being helped by Exco, other than with shot and tooling. Peter Skull, an analyst of BMO Capital, asked how the two companies were working together, and Kirk stated the following. He said, well, I'm not going to speak to who's privileging those molds today, but I will say that all of our divisions are involved with Tesla at some level, and they are an important and growing customer across the board and we see significant opportunity to expand on that. Now it looks like the Exco's relationship with Tesla is going to grow and this is going to become a major part for Tesla's business. Who knows, maybe Tesla will build casting machines and sell them to other car makers, legacy car makers. I don't know. Casting could perhaps be Tesla's biggest advantage as it continues to ramp up manufacturing and assembly efforts at uh, its facilities. Casts 
costs for each of its vehicles can made um, can be made in a matter of few seconds friends that's why this is very important effectively revolutionizing the way automotive bodies are made tesla has also shown that casting will play a pivotal role in the company's decision to move to a structural battery pack which will increase safety and vehicle rigidity in the event of an accident this is very exciting let me know your thoughts on all of this friends what do you think about this new tesla casting partnership uh, this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage let's god bless you peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next story good morning everyone tesla has a new product elon musk last night introduced the cyber whistle the tesla cyber whistle has been released per elon musk's twitter profile it's a stainless steel whistle that you can blow just like a regular whistle it retails actually for 50 dollars. i think it's too expensive for a whistle on tesla's online shop and all orders are final and it's already apparently out of stock so tesla has released the cyber whistle at 50 dollars made out of stainless steel that you can blow like a regular whistle why is tesla releasing this now i think it means something important and isn't just a fun little gift without any um, meaning the following of a uh, the blowing of a whistle is a way to start off a race it's also a way to signal to someone that they are in trouble or have committed some kind of a fool i think the most likely situation for what is happening right now is that this is for tesla being off to races meaning that the cyber truck tesla cyber truck will be starting sooner than we think says jeremy johnson from torque news tesla reporting team that's why there is a whistle shaped like a cyber truck truck that's why it's called cyber whistle tesla has a habit of releasing specific products right before the launch of a new vehicle on july 5th 2020 if you remember tesla released its shorts products uh, variable shorts a few months earlier in march of 2020 tesla released the model y and in a few months after that with the release of the shorts product so jeremy johnson says i believe tesla released the shorts because it was a time tesla Tesla was about to explode from a stock point of view and anyone uh, shorting Tesla stock was going to lose money and actually that's actually I think that's what happened the cyber Wilson now is going to sell for $50 there are reports of people buying multiple of them and selling them on eBay for almost $400 you know i wouldn't do that there is no need to do that so um elon musk is actually going to be on the next earnings call uh, he said he is going to get on the next earnings call to discuss the product roadmap and to share some important announcements elon wouldn't be doing this unless there was some major change happening since we already know that the model y is going to be produced at giga berlin and giga texas i think this means that we'll see the cyber truck begin production much much sooner than late 2022 elon musk said that he will have a roadmap update during the earnings call now could tesla have been sandbagging in order to make it look like they were going to have to catch up to rivian in order in other or others and other electric car makers it's possible elon musk is an expert in timing and living close to his supporters to know what is going to happen jeremy johnson says i think elon musk is going to have something to say about the Cybertruck on the next earnings call and he's going to say that it's going to start its production ramp on quarter one 2022 instead of quarter three of 2022 and this will be the biggest news of the year for Tesla but I think um, it also depends on Tesla's battery news where does the production of 40, 40, uh, 4680 battery starts uh, stands for now now so what are your thoughts friends what do you think about the cyber whistle do you did you order one how may, much are they going to sell for on ebay um, let me know your thoughts friends this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news give us thumbs up for this report if you found it informative and share in social media and uh, like this video and peace be with all of you god bless you everyone have a wonderful rest of the day let's move on to our next tesla story